Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on finding indefinite integrals. Before we look at our example problem, I'd like to cover a few questions which you may have. First, let's talk about how you find an indefinite integral. Well, in order to find an indefinite integral, you have to work backwards from a given derivative to determine what the original function could have been. Thus, indefinite integration and derivation are inverses because they undo each other. So, now let's cover some rules of integration. First, the case of an empty integral produces an output of capital C, which represents any constant. This is because any constant, such as 2, will produce an output of 0 when derived. Thus, determining the exact constant is impossible, so we represent it with capital C. Second, the case of a constant k produces an output of kx plus c. Since a constant times x produces a constant when derived. Third, multiplying by a constant works the same for integration as it does for a derivative. Thus, this means that the constant can be moved outside the integral. Fourth, adding or subtracting two functions within an integral can be re or rewritten as two separate integrals, one for each function. Fifth, in order to undo the power rule of derivatives, you'd increase the power on x, which is n, by 1. And then you would divide by the new power, which is n plus 1, provided that n is not negative 1. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I reverse the chain rule? Well, in order to reverse the chain rule, we will use integration by substitution. The first step of this process involves creating a variable u by choosing a portion of the function that we are finding the integral of. The second step involves finding the derivative of u, which we chose, and ensuring that this will allow us to rewrite our integral in terms of u. Third, we will rewrite the integral in terms of u, and thus it should also be written with respect to du. Finally, we will find the integral in terms of u. So now, you're probably wondering, how do we deal with 1 over x? Well, the first thing you might try to do is rewrite that as x to the negative 1 power and find its in integral. However, doing so will result in division by 0 because by the power rule we will find that we have to divide by 0. Thus, this way would be undefined. So, in order to deal with this, we will actually have to find another approach. Well. Recall that the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. Thus, we can deal with this by using natural log. However, we also have to keep the domain of natural log in mind. And thus, we will use the absolute value of x. Thus, the indefinite integral of 1 over x is ln x, or absolute value of x, plus c. So now, let's discuss our example problem, which is find the indefinite integral x over 3x squared plus 1 with respect to x. The process that I would utilize to solve this problem is to first perform a u substitution to express the integral in terms of u. And then second, substitute the value of u back into the result and ensure that any absolute values are necessary in the output. For step one, we will perform a u substitution on our original integral. So, the first thing we will do is determine u by looking at our original integral. When we do so, we will find that in this case, u is 3x squared plus 1. Second, 
we will determine u or du by finding the derivative of u with respect to x. The result of this will be du equals 6x dx. However, we need du to actually be x dx when we look at our original integral. Thus, we will divide both sides by 1 6, which gets us the correct original result. Third, we will rewrite the original integral in terms of u. Our result will be 1 6 indefinite integral of 1 over u with respect to u. Finally, we will evaluate this integral. The result of this is ln absolute value of u over 6 plus c. For step 2, we need to substitute the value of u back into the result and ensure that the absolute value that is in there is absolutely necessary. So, first, let's perform that substitution. In doing so, we will substitute 3x squared plus 1 for u in our result and find that now our result is ln absolute value of 3x squared plus 1 all over 6 plus c. Second, we will determine if this absolute value is necessary. So, let's consider the question, is 3x squared plus 1 greater than 0? Well, the answer to this is yes, it is greater than 0 because it is a parabola which has been shifted up by 1, giving it a minimum of 0, 1. Thus, it cannot produce a real output that is less than or equal to 0. Any such output would have to be imaginary. Thus, our final result is ln 3x squared plus 1 all over 6 plus our constant c. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.